Hello, BookTube, and welcome back to June on the Range. Uh, I'm back with another Clifford Simak Western short story that was originally published in the May 1945 issue of Ace High Western Stories. And it was published with the title Way for the Hangtown Rebel! Exclamation mark. A few exclamation marks in the titles. Very dramatic. And um, there's nothing in his, uh, there's a little preface. Uh, this is from volume 11 of his complete short stories. And Dave Wixon, um, the editor, states that there's nothing in his journal uh, shows uh, a, a story of that title. But there is one that um, uh, called Gunsmoke Letter. Uh, that he was paid $150 for in 1945, and he thinks this could be it, uh, because there is a letter that features in the story. But that kind of thing, a letter does feature a bit uh, in a few of his stories. But uh, again, in this one, he has a character uh, by the name of Carson, um, with a surname, and that's the surname, or I mean, that's the first name of his younger brother was Carson. Before, in the other stories, uh, when he used Carson, they were sort of the good guy. This time, uh, it was a bad guy, so I don't know if uh, during this time he had a falling out with his brother, maybe, or he just, he just used it anyway uh, for the bad guy. Uh, so there's um, Steve Burns. He sort of rides on into uh, a town. Uh, the, the town... Um, Skull Crossing is is the town, and the first thing he sees is a gallows uh, that's set up that's just sort of a brand new gallows, uh, and he was sort of thinking, oh, that's very modern. Uh, like, you know, usually just a cottonwood tree would, would sufficed for hangings. So he, uh, he 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 comes in and uh, he he goes to the livery stable and. He uh, puts his horse there, and he talks to the guy, and uh, they, he asks him about the gallows, and and uh, he finds out that you know they the sheriff has you know rounded up a bunch of Mexicans that uh, were uh, terrorizing the the, uh, the the homesteaders around and uh, stealing their cattle and killing so. They've they've got him, but uh, it's sort of like there's a story that well he probably had them, uh, he knew the, where they were, but it's it's uh, sort of the election coming up, so uh, it's just a good time to roll them out to make it look like you know he's doing something good. Uh, so he he goes into the saloon, and uh, this is where he he meets well he's he's just gonna have a drink and somebody calls his name. Uh, and he's got the back to him, so he spins around, and he uh, actually, uh, uh, you know, guns down someone who's already, you know, pulled the gun on him. And, um, and the sheriff comes in and, you know, says, well, you better mosey on out of town, uh, basically, because uh, he doesn't want any shooting around and all this stuff, but there were bystanders, bystanders that were saying that... Uh, that he uh, that he um, you know self defense uh, before he even pulled his gun. The other guy had his gun, you know, half out of the uh, uh, holster. So the sheriff saying, "Okay, well, you you can stick around," and uh, he gets you know a bottle on the house, uh, sort of from uh, the. Uh, saloon owner, which his name is Carson, as I said, the bad guy, uh, and, you know, he says, oh, well, he, he might have a job for him, but he says, well, I'm not really interested in a job, he's got a friend, you know, that's, he's got a letter that was written two years ago saying that, you know, if you ever want to hang up your guns, basically come and, uh, you know, uh, farm with me, you know, he needs a partner, because they used to be partners in a town. And the guy he shot down, uh, or that pulled the gun on him, was somebody he ran out of a town that he had before, because it turns out that he was a marshal. 
and um, he had sort of cleaned up that town, and he ran this guy out, so he thought he, the guy thought he'd try his luck, you know, to, to get revenge, but it didn't work. So, uh, so he's looking for his friend, but he finds out that it's, you know, the, he's been run off, uh, so they're saying that he's been run off by, uh, the Mexicans, and they don't know where he is. And at the same time, uh, you know, somebody bursts into the, uh, to, to the, uh, uh, the saloon, uh, and says, you know, there, there's, you know, he's got a mask on and he says there is a, uh, um, sorry, I'm just trying to get back into the, uh, story here, which is never easiest thing on ebooks because I'm reading it from an ebook. Um, so yeah, so he, you know, the, the, uh, the, the guy tells him there's, there's a bank robbery going on and don't do anything and he sort of spun around. He was going to, you know, pull his guns, but the guy shot, but he sort of dropped, uh, Burns dropped, Steve Burns dropped to the ground or the floor. And, um, so he, um, so, you know, and then he, he doesn't do anything, but he recognizes the voice and the, and the words that he was using. And it's his friend. And he's, he's quite sure of it. He can't figure out what's going on. So they they ride out of town. And uh, he, you know, he goes to his hotel and he meets the, uh, meets uh, the journalist, the, the newspaper man of the town. And newspaper no newspaper man knows a little bit about him, that he, where he was from and everything like this. And, uh, and then all of a sudden somebody else comes, a, a young woman, uh, uh, comes in and, uh, says that, uh, his friend Bob wants to, to, to meet him because he doesn't want him to go thinking that he's turned Robin, you know, he's, he's now Robin Banks. He doesn't want, uh, um, uh, Burns to know, Steve Burns to know that. So, so she says, meet him out of town, you know, and then they'll, uh. They'll, uh, you know, she'll take him to where he is, you know. So she 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 goes out. So he he starts going out, but then they start shooting at him. So or somebody starts shooting at him in the, in the dark. Uh, so he he uh, gets in, but he turns out the, he he backs into a, a wall. It turns out to be the back of the uh, the saloon, and he gets you know there's an open door, and uh, he sort of. He gets in there, and, um, you know, he, he hears going around, and it's like the sheriff and, and the, and the um, saloon owner saying, you know, that they sort of, you know, put a hit on him, basically. And, uh, but then they, somebody else busts in, and they, they grab the girl, because uh, they, they, they found her. And so he has to extricate himself from there, and they... And they rush off, uh, uh, you know, taking two horses from the livery stable, uh, but they don't have time to put saddles on. So she rides off in front, uh, but she gets thrown from the horse. So he has to, you know, uh, they have to double ride. And, you know, there's a huge posse after them now because the sheriff had pulled in uh, a whole bunch of people from another uh uh, like the big ranch that's that's around there uh, that has it's the only one that sort of survived this but there's a little more to the story than than meets the eye that he that he sort of finds out but he sends the girl off you know riding uh, to, to go back to his friend uh, Bob and you know hoping that uh, they'll, you know, he'll send, send somebody to help him because he's going to hold up there and try to hold the posse off. But there's like 30 of them, 20 or 30 of them. So he does his best. Uh, and the, the, the sheriff was going to, uh, kill him. And the newspaper man's there saying, well, no, you, you want law in your town. So, you know, you can't do this. You got to do it the proper way, arrest him. So they take him back. 
and they throw him in jail, and he winds up in 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 the uh, cells with uh, with the Mexicans, the four Mexicans that they were gonna hang. But the Mexicans were a little bit smarter. They're they're digging a tunnel. <laughs> they're digging a tunnel to get out. So uh, they talk to him, and they find out, yeah, that that you know they they were the scapegoat for Carson, the banker, and the sheriff, and the judge. They're all sort of in on it uh, to you know swindle uh, the the uh, ranchers so so he escapes through the tunnel and there's again like it just if from then on basically it's almost right from the beginning there's there's you know shootouts and it's it's one long gun battle basically from there on till the end and it's it's done really well like it's it's very fast paced and it's like a lot of shooting and uh, everything and sort of a back and forth like there's things like all of a sudden somebody pops up so it's a little contrived because all of a sudden you know he, he he goes back to the uh to to the after he escapes he goes back to get his guns at the uh at the uh um at the jail and the, somebody else is coming so he's got he goes up into the attic there's somebody else up there and it turns out it's it's Bob, his, his friend, uh, that had sort of come to see. He didn't bring uh, his his guys with him, uh, but he was just he was concerned, so he went to meet uh, the girl Anne that that he had sent for him on on the on the trail back. But he finds her, so he goes back into town, and uh, you know, it's it's like it comes to a. Um, you know, all the, like, there's still shootouts and stuff, and they're, they're gonna burn him out of the, uh, the, the attic, uh, so they, they jump down, they go back down through the, through the, uh, tunnel again, um, you know, and it's, it's, it's just a fun, it's a fun story, uh, and the way, the way he, uh, Simak sort of describes the, 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 the fighting and stuff like that, he uses things like, you know, the gun growls, you know, when he, when he, when, when he shoots and stuff like that, which is, which is kind of funny, but, uh, it's just, just a good story. But the one thing I find out, uh, like this is the fourth, no, the fifth. Yeah. The fifth story that I've read, uh, the, the, the Western so far on here, Simak must not have had a very high opinion of saloon owners because every story, I'm, I'm sure every single story saloon owner is a bad guy. Like he's running the town, uh, you know. There's, 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 they're all bad. There, there could be the one um, I'm trying to remember now, but the, the details. But the one about the journalist that might not have had a a shady um, uh, a shady uh, uh, saloon owner, but it had a shady sheriff and you know the banker. They're, they're all sort of in on it all the time. The bankers are, are in on it. Uh, the sheriff is, if there is a sheriff, you know. Uh, so, yeah. So, but it's, it's just, it's just a fun story. And again, I'm just reading these and then putting up a video because I, it's a bit behind, uh, to do this. So I'm doing extra, uh, a few extra videos for, for June on the range. But I think these warrant them because they are, uh, very, very fun, uh, to read. And I'm looking forward. The next one is a shorter one. Um, uh, Western, uh, by him, it's, the, the, these were like, you know, 45, 50 pages long, um, and the next one I think is about 30 pages, uh, so, and I'll be reading that later today or tomorrow morning and get it out, uh, tomorrow. And I'm still hoping for the Searchers video that I booked to, f uh, film for, for Tuesday, but, uh, We'll see how it goes, uh, because I still have quite a bit of reading to do. I might just scrimp on some of the reading uh, for the extras on it, and um, uh, because there's a lot of reading uh, to do regarding searchers, and it would be way too much to talk about all that, I think, in one video. Uh, but we'll, we'll see what happens. Um, I'm hoping to watch the searchers later uh, today, or rewatch it, I should say later today and then there'll be the commentaries uh to listen to. i think there might be one or two, well there's at least one commentary on the on the blu-ray but uh but yeah so that's another uh june on the range down and i will see you next time booktube